Here I am with John Dewis. John is fighting uh, the Herminator tonight in uh, fight number seven, just before the tournament starts. Um, John is from Drop Zone MMA, and um, he's coming in to fight UK to put on a good performance tonight. John, how you doing, mate? Very well, thank you. Excellent. How's preparation been going for your fight tonight? Really good this time. No Excellent. injuries. Good stuff. That's what we like to hear. Now, obviously, we were just discussing your opponent there. Do you know much about him, his style or anything like that? Uh, I've seen a few of his videos on YouTube. Seems like a good, well-rounded lad. Relentless. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. He's quite a good lad. Good. Well, look, the, 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 the main thing about it is, you know, you seem very well prepared. Obviously, you've seen his videos. Have you, have you tailored your training program accordingly? A little bit, yeah. Just sort of worked out what he's what he's about and then just try to work from that. Excellent. Work on my own game plan more, so. That's the main thing, you know, obviously with it being an amateur fight you, and, and obviously MMA, you can never tell which way it goes. So look, what I'm going to say is obviously, you, you know, you seem very keen to get in there tonight and I know you're not the, I know you're not the, the, the biggest favourite, big, biggest, uh, biggest fan of the camera. So what I'll do is I'll wish you the best of luck and uh, we're, we're looking forward to seeing you in the cage tonight, mate. Okay, thank you. Here I am with the Herbalizer, Richard Herbert. Uh, Richard is fighting on our seventh fight tonight, and Richard is fighting John Dewis. Uh, Richard, uh, you come from a, a good team up there in Doncaster. We had some of your teammates on the last show that did really, really well. Uh, any special preparation you've had for tonight's event? Uh, same as always, always training really hard as always, training regular every day. Uh, just been going over the same, old, same stuff as always, just working on my game, trying to improve my jiu-jitsu, my stand, stand up, everything really. Good, good. But well, you've got an outstanding record, seven and two, and you're from Doncaster, um, and there's, a, there's a, a pretty a pretty top lad from Doncaster just been signed to the UFC, Danny Mitchell. So, you know, you've got some uh, you've got some good guys around there, some hard training, and you're looking in good shape. Is there, is there anyone you want to thank before you go on tonight? Yeah, I want to thank all my team, I want to thank uh, my coaches, and not just my coaches, but everyone else who I train with as well, who helped me get rid of the fight, you know, the all the, the smaller people would just help them with bits and bobs and things like that, you know, they're important as well and you couldn't do it without them. Absolutely, absolutely. So it sounds like you've got a, a fantastic team behind you and uh, we're expecting some big things from you, so we're looking forward to seeing you in action tonight. Okay, so we're back with the lightweight action here at Fight UK. John Dewis in the blue corner, Richard Herbert in the red corner, Herbert out of Charles Martin Martial Arts, Dewis out of Drop Zone MMA. Yep, I, uh, Herbert is a guy that I've seen fight before. Uh, he's got a good record, you know, a well-rounded guy, good submissions. He's won the quite low there, but he's got more experience than Dewis. But, you know, Dewis, two wins, one loss to his credit. You know, and I'm sure he's, uh, he's confident he can, he's got the skills to take on a more experienced opponent. And this is almost uh, his home turf as well. Yeah, Herbert has a certain sense of calm about him, doesn't he? The Herbalizer is his moniker. Take from that what you will. Oh, nice left hook and a right hand there from Dewis. And he sends That's his blood with a flying knee. Big shots coming in now. That was a massive uppercut landed there from Dewis. Absolutely huge. Point. Yeah, he sends blood then to Dewis and it really went in for the kill. But Herbert, very durable. And uh, he's taking those shots and he just needs a bit of time just to uh, catch his wits and he eats another knee. And here we see a guillotine, standing guillotine. Yeah, and, you know, as we well know, Lloyd, once you've eaten one of those shots that rocks you, you know, it, your mind isn't where it was and the submission defence isn't what it could be. So, you know, if Joyce is going to catch him, another big left up land and a head kick. That's it, yeah, you've got a limited period and it looks like, you know, if he can get onto Herbert quick enough, he can capitalise on this. Herbert looked out on his feet then, but he's still in the fight. He needs a takedown or he needs to do something to catch some time. Because Dewis is just on him, all over him like a cheap shoot and a big right hand. Devastating combos there and they're landing, but then Herbert throws two back that lands straight on the chops of Dewis. Ah, he's a tough guy, he's Herbert. He's taking some huge shots and he's still in there. And he's, you know, he's trying to fire back. He does look a bit dazed. He needs a takedown. He's some big knees there. Very impressed with uh, how Chris Juice is striking is. It is very Chris. We did see a bit of a massive windmill from him just a moment ago, but the rest of his shots are picked. They are heavy and they are landing. And, you know, Herbert, ne basically, you know, Herbert needs to get his hands up a little bit because he can't risk any more of those landing. Yeah, certainly. And when the shots did land from Dewis, you could tell that they made the mark. And he's looking for that uh, left kick to the body as well. Maybe you can see the marks on Herbert's body. 
Yeah, those body kicks are working well for Jewis. Yeah, catch that on the liver, Baz Rutten style, and it's game over. But Herbert looking for that single leg. Now the trip, Uchimata, and he gets Let's on get top. This. Almost on top. Looking for a flying triangle, maybe. Oh, interesting. Interesting, quite literally. Herbert jumps guard. Dewey's just taking the weight, but he's got to be careful of his arms. Yeah. But sees out the round, and we're going to round two. What an exciting first round that was. Energy. And we're recharged out for round two. Look at that. Herbert's hands are up. Yeah, if I was his corner, that's exactly what I'd be saying as well. Keep them nice and tight. I'm not sure of Juice's uh, kickboxing pedigree, but it does look to be certainly a good striker. Oh, that was timed to perfection. Head and arm chop. Look at him, he's like a little Pikachin monkey there, just riding up the body. Attacking him like a spider monkey. Juice now looking for that takedown. And uh, that was certainly an unorthodox attack there from Herbert. I like that though, I like that a lot. Who knows where the herbalizer dreamed that one up. And now it's uh, Jewish pressing his man on the fence. But if anything, Herbert showed us that, you know, in these close quarters, he's very dangerous. Jewish is what will want to, you know, well, if I was Jewish, I'd be trying to break away from the clinch, get back to the center of the cage and get throwing shots there again yeah. rather than be tied up. Yeah, after that, you know, that, like you say, that little spider monkey impression we just saw from the herbalizer, I would not want to be there. Herbert with a big slam there, puts Juice on his back. Now well, let's see what he can work from this position. This is the first time he's had a dominant position. You're right, he's on top. He's managed to work his arm out. Jewis did have a loose overhook. Now Herbert's left arm is through. He's looking to try and pass over into full mount, which is interesting. Yeah, obviously you have uh, a better range of ground and pound from the full mount there, and his knees are nice and high. Less submissions, but uh, certainly better leverage to punch. And the arm lock's there. There and it is, it's on straight away. Whoa, turnaround win for Richard Herbert. Absolutely, that is almost like the rock. <laughs> Jewis actually can't believe it. He is smiling to himself. He cannot believe it. What a comeback. Absolutely fantastic win there for Richard Herbert. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 53 seconds of the very first round, your winner due to a tap out by Armbar from the red corner, Richard the Herbalizer Herbert. But let's hear it for a very worthy challenger. Let's hear it for John Dewey.